Hello and welcome to week number three of Advent. I can't believe we are already on week number three. This week we are celebrating the trait of Christ that is joy. Oh, is there like a better word than joy? I don't know. Like it's this perfect cute little three letter word and it's just fantastic. Now you'll see I am not in my Bible this week, which is kind of interesting. And um, if you check out on my vlog at modernmessprincess.com, you will hear the heart behind this art. So this is hymnal art. And if you haven't seen hymnal art before, it's another way of doing Bible art journaling or just art journaling without doing it in a Bible. For some people, this is um, more comfortable uh, than actually doing it in their Bible. Uh, some people are like me and that they do it in addition to their Bible. Um, but it's just, again, it's another one of those things. So I, it's another one of those, I guess I was going to say one of those things of the heart where you just have to discern what feels right to you. This is a hymnal that I've had since I was a kid. So it's kind of a special hymnal and it was just sitting on the shelf. So I'm turning it into a book of prayers and, um, I go ahead and I let myself cover the pages of music that I don't remember or that don't have any kind of special meaning for me. So I was going to do Joy to the World, obviously, for the week of joy. And then I thumbed through and I found this song. And you've got to go on my blog and check out why why I chose this hymn. I forgot this was even in the hymnal. <laughs> But it stopped me in my tracks and it's so super fun. So yes, I did just put black paint down all over a page in my hymnal. Now don't panic, it does not bleed through. I don't even know why these paints don't bleed through, but they don't. <laughs> the other side is just fine. And this side was um, a song in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish and I don't recognize the hymn so it wasn't one that was important to my heart or my faith journey so I went ahead and painted over it to create this hymnal art entry now this song is a song I sang as a kid and it's all about um, <laughs> Jesus being born in a stable and um, all the little creatures that are around him and so I thought the Advent kit from By the Well for God, super fun Etsy shop you have to check out. Um, I thought all their cute little animals and creatures were just perfect for this entry. So I pulled out that kit immediately. And here I'm trying to make like a chalkboard look. This is a brush uh, art big pit pen that is in white. I use three different white pens for this entry not that you need to I'm <laughs> so I'm making little check boxes with a little white paint pen I found at the dollar store and it's been working great so go check that out they are selling it with the Christmas ornaments saying that you can um, write on plastic like on plastic ornaments um, but I've been using it for art journaling and it's been working great on top of dark uh, colors and black paint and things like that so I'm just trying to make this little chalkboard look um, and a checklist of maybe what a Sunday school teacher is going through and preparing for the pageant. Then I'm also putting in what my own thoughts were as a kid. And um, because, well, I'll give a little hint away. This is a song we sing in our Christmas pageant every single year. And I could probably sing it to you right now all by heart without even looking at the words. Because <laughs> I sang it for, oh, years. 15 years in a row or something like that every year and practiced it many more times than that at rehearsals so um, I have super fond memories of this song although um, I think my parents got really sick of hearing it every year <laughs> oh, but as a kid uh, it meant Christmas to me and I've always been just super excited about the Christmas season and it doesn't matter how old I am I still get super excited about the Christmas season so it's very fitting that this week is joy this whole season and Advent and Christmas and all the things that lead up to it do bring me a lot of joy 
I've had to learn how to root out stressful situations. And I'm going to be talking about that on my podcast, the Messy Princess podcast. So make sure you listen to that because we're going to talk about what what really is joy, what makes it different from happiness, and how do we get more of it in our lives. And so um, joy isn't just happiness, but it can be a part of happiness. And so uh, the joy I feel at Christmas isn't a fake like yay everything's perfect (laughs) you guys know me I'm a mess um I don't ever claim anything's perfect um but the joy comes from the festivities really focusing on the innocence of Christ I think when we're talking babies um there's just an innocence and birthdays and uh, how God used such a humble situation to bring in such an amazing gift into the world. So I'm not so sure that there were giraffes and hedgehogs and those kind of creatures. Um, I'm not sure that's the kind of creature we were really singing about, but those are the creatures in this kit. So those are the creatures that were definitely at Christ's birth. I'm pretty darn sure at this point. (laughs) But aren't they so cute? They just had to be because this whole hymn is about like the different creatures and the different things that were going on the night of Christ's birth and it's a very really simple song that we had memorized as children and um so it's just these little whimsical childlike characters are just so so fitting so now I'm making a tab for the top of the page I'm combining a tab that came with the kit with the word joy that came with the kit and I've just painted a little base of red and green watercolors. Now, By the Well for God includes a little sheet of tester watercolors that are perfectly matched to the kit colors. So I'm using the watercolors that they supplied in the kit to add just a little bit of color wash at the top of the page and at the bottom of the page, just because the music page was, um, other than the stickers I put on it, and die cuts, it's pretty uh, colorless. So I just wanted to pull in a little bit more of that red and green since the page next to it has the same colors. And then I'm putting the word joy in with this tab since we're talking about the word joy this week. And um, yeah, just affixing that to the page. And that just really, it's kind of simple and sweet and That's really what my memory is about this hymn and about being a part of Christmas pageants and all that tradition that came along with it. So now I'm going to go in and I write prayers, like I said, amongst the words in my hymnal. And so um, I've been just writing down, they're really simple prayers, but my thought is that this book will become kind of a prayer book like a reference. So some of the prayers are based on uh, different emotional situations. Like if I'm feeling sad, go to this hymn and see this prayer. Um, And I'm using the tabs to create kind of an index of what these are about. So I can kind of go straight to a hymn and remember that hymn and remember what I wanted to pray about. Um, in relation to that hymn. So I just spelled out my fave because I say that a lot or I type that a lot actually. I don't really say it a lot but I type it a lot and people (laughs) in my friends text messages and things I'll say hey that's my fave. Um, And so this song is just it was so uh, fun to stumble upon this song because like I said I didn't even realize it was in the hymnal. I thought it was just printed out on sheets that we used at the, um, when we were practicing for our, um, Advent play, our Advent play, guys, I need words, the Christmas pageant, (laughs) otherwise known as an Advent play to Kimberly. So I'm just writing out a prayer of gratitude that I got to be involved in celebrating Christ's birth in such a fun way as a child. And that, um, it's a tradition that meant so much to me. It's not a tradition that my children got to be a part of. We, I think, I think in our years of them growing up, they were maybe in two or three different um, Christmas pageants 
but um, most of the time the church that we went to did not do a Christmas pageant or anything like that. So I just am even that much more grateful for my experience. Now what I do is I highlight which hymns I have done and I date them. Instead of dating them on the page, I go ahead and date them in the back of the book. And that will become kind of my my timestamp record of what I was journaling when and, and what prayers I was looking at and what hymns I was um, kind of meditating over. So that's where I'm putting my dates. But I am going to go ahead and continue my little tradition here of using my Advent week uh, letter stamp here. And I'm just trying to figure out how to get it on the bottom of the page. Um, and I figure the best way to do it is going to be to just roll it with the curvature of the page because it's a big word. It's going to take up the whole bottom. And so I need to squish it really tight into that corner. And I actually get a really good impression here. <laughs> I was kind of excited. Um, I don't expect perfection. I never do. I never worry about that. But um, it, I was really surprised at how good the impression came out, given that it was kind of on a bumpy, rocky surf surface. So here I take a letter B and turn it into what's supposed to be a three. Um, bonus points for those of you who notice what's wrong with my three. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. At the time, it looked right. I do have dyslexia with numbers and so all I'm guessing is that at the time my brain saw that and it looked like a three um, doesn't look like a three right now so <laughs> I'm just gonna have to laugh at myself and I'm gonna leave it alone I could go I've debated about going back and fixing it but nah I just want to thank you for watching and joining me in my silly journeys I hope you subscribe and stick around and I will see you again soon. Merry Christmas.